Hi, my name is Danielle Collins and I'm the world leading face yoga expert and I'm going to be showing you some face yoga which is great for helping to reduce nasal labial folds. So these are those lines that we can often get between the nose and the mouth and doing a variety of face yoga techniques can really help to reduce these lines but also prevent them as well. So for our first technique we're going to do a really lovely massage. So we're going to take our two fingers, so index finger and middle finger, just bring your face into a nice neutral position and we're just going to start to go up and down the nasal labial fold area. So keeping the face in as much of a neutral position as possible, so not smiling here at all. Now this is going to help to boost the circulation. As we start to boost the circulation, we bring all the fresh blood and nutrients and oxygen up to the skin surface. So it really helps to feed the skin. Also by using massage, we help to relax tension and stress in this area. And a big reason that we get those nasal labial folds is through holding tension and stress. So for example, tensing our jaw, gritting our teeth, and it means that we permanently hold an expression which is really rooted in tension. So the more those muscles are nice and relaxed, the more the blood can flow effectively. So then we're just going to do some tapping. So let's start from the jaw area here. It's really nice to tap this area as well because it will really help to reduce those marionette lines that we can often get sort of underneath the mouth area. So let's take index finger and tap up. So we're just working upwards here. Nice tapping. And again, just have a nice neutral position with your face. So no need to smile. And try and breathe deeply whilst you do it as well. So nice deep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Remember you want to try and relax as much as possible when you do your face yoga. So you may start to feel a lovely warmth as you do this and this is a great indication that you've really improved the blood flow to that area and you're also helping with the toxin removal as well. Okay, so next we're gonna work with strengthening muscles. So we have lots of muscles in the cheeks and also around the mouth. And as we work with strengthening those muscles, the skin attached to it is tightened and tautened and firm. There was a recent study done by Northwestern University in Chicago in January 2018, which actually showed that doing face yoga approximately 30 minutes a day over a 20 week period can help you look three years younger. And one of the main findings in the study was how it actually helped to strengthen and tone and lift the cheek area. So giving a fuller and more lifted lower face. So by doing these regular exercises, it's almost as though we're putting stuffing underneath the skin. So it's really helping to plump out that whole area. So one of my favorite techniques for helping to strengthen this area and therefore plump it out is puffing both cheeks out full of air and then transferring the air from cheek to cheek so we're going Now keep going with this while I talk to you. You want to breathe in and out through your nose as you do it. And if whilst you're doing it, you find that there are little lines created around the mouth area, and that really does vary from person to person, a great little adaptation or variation for this one is placing your fingers over your lips, tightening and tautening the lip area with the fingers, and then continuing to transfer from cheek to cheek. So going. So just keep that going a little bit longer. Ideally, you want to do this exercise one to two times a day for about 30 seconds to a minute at a time. And it really is a great one for helping to lift and firm this area. So a big reason that these lines are created is not only through the tension, which I talked about before, but also through expression lines. So make sure your face is nice and relaxed. Now you can stop doing the exercise where we're transferring from cheek to cheek if you're still doing it. 
And actually, as we express, particularly as we smile, we tend to create these lines. Now, I definitely wouldn't recommend stop smiling. It's incredibly important to smile for well-being and so many other reasons. But if you can try and get in the habit of just learning to relax your face when you're not smiling, this will make a big difference and it'll give your skin time just to bounce back to where it was before. As we grow older, we tend to naturally lose the collagen and the elastin in the skin. So these are the natural plumping agents that we have in our face. Now, as we get older, this means that our ability to bounce back from expressions such as smiling reduces. So though we can't improve the collagen and elastin through just exercising, we can do it through doing a little bit of massage and through other natural means as well. But certainly we can tend to reduce that expression line through learning to relax the face on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me explain a little bit more to you how to do that. So bring your face into as much of a neutral position as possible. Let your cheeks relax now. Let your jaw relax now. Let your eye air relax now. Have that neutral position on the face. Now just think about how that feels. Really make a mental note of that. Now as you make a mental note of that, just try and go into that position as many times in the day, particularly when you're on your own, it's a really good one to do. It'll mean that you're not holding that tension and you're not creating those smile lines. So let's just finish by doing one more exercise, which is going to be really, really good for helping to improve the circulation in this area. And in some ways it will also boost your collagen and your elastin as well. So two fingers and thumb, just pinching all the way up that area. So really stimulating the muscle as well. So if you want to boost the collagen and the elastin in the face, massage does help. There are lots of other natural means which I mentioned before, but some things which I would certainly say, which are very easy to do, are to reduce time in the sun. So you should be wearing an SPF 30 every single day. Also reducing things like sugar and caffeine and alcohol, all of these things break down the collagen and the elastin in the skin. So the more we can do to actually reduce that collagen and elastin breakdown, the less we're going to find we get lines in the face. So remember there's so many preventative measures as well as these face yoga techniques which are gonna work with lifting and toning the muscles, which are gonna help with boosting the circulation. And in some ways they will also work with boosting that collagen and that elastin. Okay, so just tap up a couple more times there. And then just bring your hands gently down. So if you would like to get into the habit of doing a daily structure program, I'd highly recommend this. So you can go to faceyogaexpert.com for more information on DVDs and teacher training. And you can also visit your app store and search Danielle Collins on there for my apps. Thanks very much for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.